For disassembling, you need the Nokia Standard Toolkit version 2. You will also need a Navy plug, some SS310 low static tape and the SS315 version 2. You must always wear the recommended gloves during the disassembly procedure. Protect the touch window with protective film. Release the SIM tray with the SS93 and pull it out. Remove the small type label located beneath the SIM tray with tweezers. Do not use it again. Discard it. Unscrew the Torx Plus size 4 screw. Do not use it again. Discard it. Unscrew the Torx Plus size 4 locking bar screw located on the bottom of the AV jack hold to the unlocked position. Use a long bit screwdriver. Turn the screw about 12 to 14 rounds and stop when a slight resistance is felt. This loosens the A cover. Note that the A cover removal procedure might not be as smooth as shown when disassembling a phone for the first time. Start removing the A cover by releasing the clip by the USB connector on the top side with the SRT6. Note that the SRT6 must always be kept parallel to the gap between the A cover and the B cover to avoid damages in the B cover. Then release the clips on the left side by sliding the SRT6 along the side. Pay attention not to damage the B cover. The SRT6 must be kept parallel to the gap between the A cover and the B cover. Then release the clip on the bottom left corner with the SRT6. Pay attention not to damage the B cover. Then use the SS93 to release the clips by the speaker box and the bottom right corner. Do not bend or twist the SS93 to avoid damages on the B cover. Release the bottom right corner properly so that the first clip on the right side is also released. Then pull the B cover away from the A cover as shown. Note that this is the proper way to separate the A cover from the B cover and avoid damaging any clips. Some extra force might be needed here but no clips should get damaged. Check that none of the clips on the A cover are damaged. Check also that none of the clips on the B cover are damaged. Protect the flash pins with SS310 low static tape to minimize the risk of short circuit. Be careful not to damage the pins. Open the microphone connector with the SS93. Be careful not to damage the connector. Then release the clips holding the microphone assembly from the shown place with the SS93. Remove the microphone assembly. Remove the USB strap. Do not use it again if it is deformed.
open the HSJ flex connector lock with the SS93. Gently pull out the HSJ flex connector. Unscrew the 10 Torx plus size 4 screws. Do not use them again. Discard them. Release the engine board from the shown corner and side with the SS93. Before lifting up the engine board, slightly pull it to the direction shown. This prevents the springs on the other side of the engine board touching the A cover and so they will not get damaged. Lift up the shown side of the engine board and hold it so that there is a small gap between the edges of the engine board and the A cover. Open the display connector with the SS93. Be careful not to damage the connector. Remove the engine board including the battery. Open the battery connector with the SS93. Be careful not to damage the connector. Open the camera connector with the SS93. Be careful not to damage the connector or any components nearby. Flip over the engine board and gently push the camera out of the camera boot with the SS93 from the two shown edges. Take care not to push from the center of the camera. Remove the camera. Press the clips holding the camera boot inwards with the SS93. Do not use too much force to avoid damaging the camera boot. Remove the camera boot. Flip over the engine board and release the battery from the shown place by inserting the SS315 version 2 between the screw hole tab and the engine board. Be careful not to damage any components nearby. Then insert the SS93 between the battery and the engine board. The adhesive holding the battery is on the edges of the battery. Use the SS93 to release all sides of the battery. Lift up the battery. Be careful not to damage the battery connector when guiding it through from the other side. After removing the battery, protect the adhesive with protective film to prevent it getting dirty. The Skype camera needs to be removed only if it is damaged. First open the Skype camera connector with the SS93. Remove the Skype camera. Note that there is some adhesive on the flex. Remove and discard the ALS gasket with tweezers if it is damaged. Remove and discard the HSJ assembly from the A cover, only if it is damaged. Remove any adhesive remains. Remove and discard the A cover earpiece gasket if it is damaged.
Remove and discard the main camera grounding gasket if it is damaged. Remove any adhesive remains. Remove and discard the earpiece with tweezers only if it is damaged. Remove the flash support. Release the flash capacitor with the SS93. Release the flash module by pushing it from the back side with the SS93. Remove the flash module and capacitor. Screw the locking bar screw to the locked position. Use a long bit screwdriver. Turn the screw about 12 to 14 rounds and stop when a slight resistance is felt. Use an AV plug to lever out the AV jack. Remove the AV jack. Do not use it again. Discard it. The wireless charging module needs to be removed only if it is damaged. Release the wireless charging flex with the sharp end of the SS93. To loosen the wireless charging module, gently bend the B cover assembly by pushing from the back side. This way the corner of the wireless charging module is released. Then release the wireless charging module from the corner with the SS93 and remove it. If the B cover is being replaced and the wireless charging module is not damaged, it need to be removed with extra care as it is reusable. Also, it has to be assembled to a new B cover immediately so that the adhesive will not dry or gather any dust. Peel off the two capacitor adhesives. Do not use them again. Discard them. Remove and discard the earpiece back gasket with tweezers. Remove and discard the USB support gasket if it is damaged. Remove and discard the third MIC gasket from the B cover if it is damaged. Remove and discard also the secondary MIC gasket if it is damaged. Peel off the lamp module adhesive from the flash module. Do not use it again. Discard it. Remove and discard the capacitor gasket from the flash capacitor if it is damaged. Remove also the capacitor grounding gasket and discard it if it is damaged. Peel off the gasket residue. Now the Nokia Lumia 928 disassembly procedure is complete.